Let us discuss on selection tools. Selection tools are used to select an image or a part of it to perform cut, copy, edit or retouching operations. Students, let's take a quick view. In Photoshop CC, you cannot undo more than one action using undo command in the edit menu. To do so, press Ctrl plus Alt plus Z key combination. Following are the various selection tools in Photoshop. Rectangular Marquee Tool It is used to select an image or a part of it in a rectangular, square, elliptical or as a row or column. That is one pixel wide. Click on the Rectangular Marquee Tool in the Tools panel. The cursor appears as a cross, here sign plus. Place the cursor on the image. Click and hold the left mouse button and then drag out a mark you to select the required part of the picture. You will notice that a dash border has covered the selected object as shown in figure. Now right click on the image layer and select the rasterize layer. Press the delete key. Notice that the selected part of the image is deleted. Ok, let me give you a tip. Do not save the edited image as it will spoil the original one. Ok students, know the fact. A selected area is indicated on the screen by a blinking selection border called Mark you. Lasso tool the lasso tool is a bunch of three very useful tools used for freehand selections. Lasso tool, polygonal lasso tool, magnetic lasso tool. Follow these steps to select a part of the image using the lasso tools. Open any image. Click on the tiny white triangle on the lasso tool icon or right click on the icon. The three types of the lasso tools will appear. Using Lasso Tool Select the Lasso Tool Choose one of the selection options from the options bar Click and drag the mouse around the part of the image to be selected and mark the selection Release the mouse at the end point you will notice the selection as shown in the figure. Using Polygonal Lasso Tool It helps to make freehand selections but its contour is made up of straight segments. Select the Polygonal Lasso Tool. Specify the options using the options bar. Click on the image at any point near the object to be outlined. Click at the position where you want the first straight segment to end. Keep clicking to set the next end points of the subsequent segments until the whole object is outlined. Close the contour by clicking at the starting point. Ok, let us take a quick view. When using either lasso or polygon lasso tools, you can toggle between the two by pressing the ALT key. Using magnetic lasso tool. When you use this tool, the border snaps to the edges of the defined areas in the image. The magnetic lasso tool is specially useful for quickly selecting objects with complex edges set against high contrast backgrounds. Select the Magnetic Lasso tool. Click on any part of the image to be selected and drag the mouse pointer around the object to select it. You will find this tool drops fastening points along the edges. Continue this process till you reach the starting point or double click at the ending point. Observe the selection as shown in the figure.
Quick Selection Tool This tool is used for quick selection. As you drag the mouse, the selection expands outward and finds and follows the defined edges in the image automatically. The Quick Selection Tool is useful for selecting the parts of an image which require great precision to reach. Click on the Quick Selection Tool. Drag the mouse to make the design. Okay, know that if the quick selection tool does not appear in the tools panel, right click on the magic wand tool and select the quick selection tool. Okay, let's know more. To add a floating panel or panel group to an icon door, drag it in by its tab or title bar. Panels are automatically collapsed to icons when added to an icon door. Magic Wand Tool It is used to select the adjacent areas of the same color in an image. Click on the Magic Wand Tool or press W. The pointer changes into symbol. Click on any part of the image. All the adjacent areas of pixels having the same color will be selected as shown in the figure. On selecting the Magic Wand Tool, the options bar displays the following options. Tolerance 0 to 255 determines the color range of the selected pixels. The higher the tolerance, wider will be the range of the selected pixels. Anti-Alias produces a smooth edge by partially filling the edged pixels. Contiguous limits the selection to adjacent pixels only. While unchecking this option, all the pixels in the image within the same tolerance range will be selected. Students, let's take a quick view. The Magic Wand tool can make and merge selections if we press the Shift key. Move tool. This tool is used to drag a selected part of an image to a new location in the image. Open any image and select the part to be moved using Mark U or Lasso tool. Select the Move tool from the Tools panel or press V. The pointer changes to Sign. While holding the left mouse button, drag the selected image to the point where you want to place it and release the mouse button. Notice the change as shown in the pictures given below. Ok, let me give you a tip. To copy a selected part of an image within the same image, press Alt key while dragging the selection. To copy a selected part of an image to another image, use the Edit then Copy and Edit then Paste options. <music> Students, let's talk about Cropping Tool. It is used to select a specified area that you want to focus on and removes the unwanted parts or everything outside the selected area of a picture. Open any image, select the crop tool from the tools panel or press C. The pointer changes to the cropping symbol. While holding the left mouse button, drag it across the picture to make a rectangular selection. Release the mouse button when the selection is complete. The selected part of an image within your selection is known as the cropping area. The area outside the cropped area appears dark. This is called a shield. To finish the cropping process, double click inside the selection or press the enter key. You will find that the selected image is cropped. Photoshop CC provides a variety of crop options in the options bar. These are perspective crop tool, slice tool and slice select tool. Students, let's know more. Cropping is the process of removing portions of a photo to create focus or strengthen the composition. The slice tool is used to divide an image into multiple rectangular sections called slices. 
these slices can be easily moved, resized, aligned and optimized individually as separate files. After you create a slice, you can select it by using the Slice Select tool. Students, let's take a quick view. You can press the Escape key or click the Cancel button in the Options bar to cancel the cropping of an image. Right, let us discuss on some common painting tools in Photoshop. Adobe Photoshop is basically an image editing and retouching software. But we can also create artworks by using different painting tools like Gradient, Paint Bucket, 3D Material Drop Tools, etc. Gradient Tool The Gradient Tool allows you to fill an area with a range of colors in a specified pattern. It creates a blend of two or more colors. Gradients of color can be filled with linear, radial, angle, reflected and diamond gradient. Open an image. With the help of magic wand tool, select the area with tolerance setting of 90. Select the gradient tool from the tools panel. Click on the drop down arrow of the gradient picker and select the desired gradient from the displayed options. You can also edit the gradient. To do so, right click on the gradient picker from the options bar. The gradient editor dialog box will appear. Select the Chrome Gradient option and click on the OK button. Now select the Linear Gradient from the Options bar. Click and drag the mouse pointer in the selected area. Notice that the selected gradient gets applied on the selected area. Press Ctrl plus D to deselect the selection. Paint Bucket Tool it is used to fill an image or a part of it with different colors based on the tolerance or a range of colors. Open an image. With the help of the magic wand tool, select the image area with tolerance setting of 90. Select the paint bucket tool from the tools panel and set the tolerance to 100 to paint the whole selection. Click on the set foreground color option. The Color Picker Foreground Color dialog box will appear. Select any color of your choice, for example pink, and click on OK. Now click on the selected area of the image. The color of the selected area will change to pink. OK students, let's know more. You can easily change the brush tip size of the quick selection tool by clicking on the brush picker drop down menu in the options bar and type in a pixel size or drag the slider. You can also press the right bracket to increase and the left bracket to decrease the brush tip size. Ok students let's take a recap of this chapter. The Adobe Photoshop popularly known as Photoshop is a graphics editing program developed by Adobe Systems. Layer effects preserve the original state of an image while manipulating other version of it through another layer. Photoshop offers various panels that can be either grouped, stacked or dogged. These include Colors Panel, Swatches Panel, Styles Panel, Tools Panel, Layers Panel, Adjustment Panel and History Panel. The selection tools are used to select an image or a part of it to perform cut, copy, edit or retouching operations. The magnetic lasso tool is specially useful for quickly selecting objects with complex edges set against high contrast backgrounds. The crop tool is used to select a specified area which you want to focus and remove the unwanted parts outside the selected area of a picture. The move tool is used to drag a selected part of an image to a new location in the image. The gradient tool is used to fill an area with a range of colors in a specified pattern.